The problem is there is not a single mention of her in their Nobel lectures. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Given no, that's given crazy. photograph fifty one, like that is just insane. Yeah, the, you guys, you can't not. Yeah, you, you cannot can't say not. anything. Nothing? That's insane. Nothing is and crazy. Rosalind Franklin is just incredible. <laughs> she moves to Birkbeck College, yeah. and she focuses on the tobacco mosaic virus. She does incredible work on the tobacco mosaic virus with a colleague named Aaron Klug. Unfortunately, given that she was working with x-rays, it's thought that the x-ray research actually contributed to ovarian cancer mm. that she developed later on in life. Mm. Not that much later. She died actually in 1958 at the age of 37. This is a photo of her when she was visiting California. Uh, and she had visited Berkeley to give some talks and UCLA to give some talks. It's really unfortunate that she, that she died so young. Yeah. It was incandescently bright. Yes. Her colleague, Aaron Klug, who was her subordinate at the time, went on to win the Nobel Prize for the tobacco mosaic virus. So very, very likely that had, had she lived, she would have won, won the, the Nobel, Nobel Prize along. for that as well. Um, 1958 is when she dies. Four years later, the Nobel Prize is awarded to James Watson, Francis Crick, and Maurice Wilkins. Uh, and actually, John Steinbeck won the, the Literature Prize there, so he's, he's in, the, <laughs> in the group photo Ooh, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, you can't give the Nobel Prize for... Posthumously. Posthumously, right? Yeah. 